Guys, Matt from 123MyT here. If you are mining on NiceHash with an RTX 20 series or an RTX 30 series or on any other NVIDIA card, in this video we'll show you why it's important not to use the NiceHash optimization option for your NiceHash mining. First of all guys, sorry for the blurry screen. I can't screen capture as it will affect the performance of the mining. The card that we'll be using today is the RTX 3060. If you want to check out that card, I'll put a link in the description below. So what we will do first is run the card without any optimization. Then I run the card with nice hash optimization and then with manual optimization. Okay, so here is the reading with no optimization. And the reading from the wall socket is about 178 to about 180 watts. So running the card without any optimization gives a hash rate of about 37 and overall power usage is about 180 watts. All right, let's test the nice hash optimization. We'll set it to high and see what it gives us. The overclocker set the card's core clock to 1560 and the memory to 1200. I will minimize the browser and just give it a second to pull up the top hash rate. Cool, so the nice hash high setting has done a good job at optimizing the card. With a higher hash rate of 47.9 and an overall power usage of 144 to 145. Let's see what the medium settings does. The median setting sets the core clock to 1500 and the memory clock to 1000. The nice hash medium optimization finished with a hash rate of 46.8 and an overall power score of 138 watts. So again, dropping the power consumption, but also dropping some of the hash rate. Okay, the last setting is the light optimization, and this sets the card's core clock to 1440 and a memory to 700. After the card settled down, it was punching out 45 mega hash with a power outlet score of 133 watts. So again, a decrease in both power and hash rate as expected. All right, let's try a manual overclock using the Afterburner software. I'm going to do a quick restart and make sure that you turn the optimization off in NiceHash as well before you do manual optimization. Okay, starting up the Afterburner software, you can see the power limit starts at 100. This is what you will mostly change to reduce the power going to the card. I already have a clock set so I will apply those settings and you can see that the power limit and the other settings have changed. If you are not sure what afterburner settings to use for your graphics card then look up this nice hash page called NVIDIA AMD OC settings for mining. I will put a link in the description below and it gives you a really good starting point. So if you look here it tells you the types of graphics cards and I just use the numbers from here for my card, the RTX 3060. Now obviously you can put in whatever settings you want on your card, but this is a good starting point. Okay, so the card's hash rate has settled on 47.55 with an overall power consumption of 137 watts. So the manual overclock is pulling a similar hash rate to the nice hash high setting, but using around seven watts less. And well, you might say that, well, it's such a small amount, who cares, right? But if you times this small amount by 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you have more than one card, this little amount will be a lot. Guys, don't forget to check out my other videos, such as create and download Windows 11 for a Mac. And do me a favor, if you know anyone who might like this video, please share it with them. Hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon.